Welcome to this short session on understanding sources of law. My name is Carol Hassler and I'm the Access Services Librarian at the Wisconsin State Law Library. In this talk, we're going to go over the general structure of the United States legal system and learn where to discover some of these resources. Legal questions can be wide ranging. Library visitors might ask how to represent themselves in court or where to find legal forms. They might need to find an attorney or legal aid, or they may need to research the law or find cases. All of these needs may require different approaches or sources of research material. Some questions are easily answered with free online information. Many recent laws and court opinions or legal decisions are available online through a government website or a third party site. While many people you help only need to research Wisconsin or local laws, there are still plenty of users who will need to research federal law or laws and cases from other jurisdictions. One big concept of legal research is understanding the difference between primary and secondary sources. Primary laws created by government entities like legislatures, the executive branch and administrative agencies, and the courts. But there's a lot more to the law. Agencies or boards publish decisions, courts have local rules, and professional associations may create codes of conduct or entire codes of law which are adopted and enfolded by reference. For example, fire protection codes. Some primary sources of law may be binding in a particular court and some might not. The law can be complex. This tutorial goes over basic sources and strategies. For help researching a particular topic, it can often be useful to turn to a secondary source for a specific analysis of the law and how it's been followed and applied over time. When we talk about researching the law, one of the most helpful things to identify is the geographic boundary of the legal issue. The United States legal system is based on a system of jurisdiction. This can be applied to courts where a system of federal and state courts may be able to hear specific matters. Geographic borders apply to researching statutory law, regulations, or other sources of law. Many library visitors need to research laws where they live. So a lot of your research might focus on finding Wisconsin state law or local ordinances. However, be aware that there are other levels of law that may be of interest. For example, someone researching disability law may want to research federal ADA laws and regulations as well as state laws. Someone else researching fence laws will need to research local ordinances as well as state statutes. The American legal system is based on a decentralized system. The federal government has significant powers and individual states keep powers not specifically outlined in federal law. How can you figure out which source of law to start researching? There aren't any foolproof formulas to figure this out. In general, you can say that federal laws apply to everyone who lives in the United States. State and local laws apply to people who live or work in a particular state, county, or municipal boundary. In general, I like to start with state law research and then move to federal law or local ordinances depending on the topic. There are some areas of the law that, with a little practice, you'll quickly recognize as best researched in a particular type or region of law. However, it's important to understand that there can be areas of overlap. For example, employment discrimination laws and agencies that handle complaints for the laws they oversee exist on both the federal level and state level. As a librarian, it's not your responsibility to decide which law applies to a library visitor's situation, but you can help them to locate sources of the law and sometimes books or articles that talk about the different sources of law and how they're applied. One place to learn some quick fundamentals is with the American Association of Law Libraries Public Library Toolkit. This toolkit gives state-by-state -state basic research links and also breaks down the legal research process. It can be helpful to start your research with Pathfinder someone's already created. The Law Library of Congress has a number of research guides to get you started. 
When we talk about laws, we often think of laws created by legislative bodies. For example, laws about divorce can be found in the Wisconsin state statutes. The statutes are a collection of laws that have been codified or assigned numbers and organized in a single resource. Our state statutes are created through the legislative process. And while the legislature creates the statutes, laws are signed or vetoed in part by the governor and can be held unconstitutional or interpreted by the courts. Again, the law can be complex. But to find the sources of law, breaking it down to simple divisions like the three branches of government can help you to figure out where to start. It's often helpful to start with the legislative source of the law. Examples of this include the United States Code, the Wisconsin State Statutes, and your local municipal code. Particularly on the federal and state level, administrative agencies may have regulations that provide further processes, guidelines, or standards for the laws the agencies are tasked to oversee. Court opinions contribute to a body of law known as common law. Court opinions can examine constitutional issues, general rulings of law, and interpretations of law. Many people start with the legislative sources of law and then explore regulations or court decisions after that. On the State Law Library's website, we break down basic legal sources into the courts, the legislature, and the executive branch. Federal law is widely available online from official government sources to reprinted laws or regulations on non-governmental websites. If you have a citation to a law, there are many tools to look up and read the text of a law or court opinion. One example of a federal source is Congress.gov, a major research hub for legislative information, including bills and laws, hearings and reports, and other information generated by the legislative process. Federal information is readily available online, sometimes back to the 1990s or earlier, depending on the source. There are also federal government depository libraries in Wisconsin that serve as excellent resources for federal legal research. Case law research can be done online. These are just a sampling of tools. Google Scholar remains the generalist source for those who want to do simple keyword searches across multiple jurisdictions. Regulations, presidential documents, and more are available online as well. There are even comment portals for pending administrative regulations, such as this regulations.gov website. When we talk about Wisconsin law, it can be used to describe a number of sources. On our Wisconsin Law Research page, we include the fundamentals, legislative sources of law like the Wisconsin statutes, executive sources of law like the administrative code, and judicial sources like the state circuit court and appellate court system. There are many sources for finding Wisconsin case law, and these are just a sampling. Many of these support searching by citation or party names. Some, like local municipal courts, may not actually have their court record information online. In Wisconsin, many local laws for county or municipal governments are available in line in some capacity. We don't include local ordinances when we talk about state law because they aren't applied statewide. However, local laws are an important aspect of researching Wisconsin law. They're created by municipal governing bodies, and there can even be municipal courts that serve one or a few areas of the state, but aren't part of the wider statewide circuit court system. Check out our website or other library sites for pathfinders. Like other laws, international law and the law of indigenous nations are often, but not always, online. Libraries may keep track of digitization projects or other efforts to provide access to current or past laws. Agency websites, both federal and state, can also be excellent sources of laws, treaties, and other resources that are helpful for researchers. Many of Wisconsin's agency websites, for example, 
include pages with lists of relevant laws and regulations to shorten your search. One example of an agency providing access to information beyond their immediate scope of law is this U.S. Department of State page on international service of process. This issue can actually come up somewhat often when dealing with families with members living across international borders. Remember that agencies field many of the same types of questions as librarians and can be excellent resources. As with any other search, having a citation on hand can make quick work of locating a law or a case. Every set of laws has its own numbering conventions. The easier to understand systems tend to follow some type of book convention with a year or volume style numbering, followed by page or section numbering. The Wisconsin statutes, for example, are organized by chapter and section number. In the example, you would look in Chapter 106 of the Wisconsin Statutes for Section 52. For case law research, knowing the date, court, and names of the parties can be another helpful way to search, even if you don't have the full citation. When you don't know the exact citation, I strongly recommend looking for indexes and tables to help you find the law. Sometimes people want to find a law that doesn't exist and subject indexes can be helpful references in those situations as well to show that while there are other laws in related subject areas, there don't appear to be laws matching the question. Keyword searching can be very effective unless the keywords aren't very unique. Sometimes library visitors may want to research a vague law or a law from another state. Showing researchers how to use these search and index tools can be a useful way to answer those difficult questions. Finding the law can be tricky. If you run into trouble, contact a law library for help. The state law library is available Monday through Friday, and the UW Law Library often has a reference librarian available in the evenings and on weekends, depending on the current campus schedule. We're always happy to answer questions and both libraries help members of the public directly with research as well.